Hey guys, Synergy here and we're bringing you a brand new video and we felt like challenging ourselves today so what we're going to do is we're going to do three man and we're actually going to do the confluxes as well so we're going to talk you into this video now and basically we're going to get into it as you can see here what I'm actually using is I'm using the Vision of Confluence fully upgraded I'm going to be using a Galahorn as well and I've got the Purifier V7 the Purifier is a fusion rifle from New Monarchy obviously certain weapons really own this part we don't have the, uh, what's it called, the Fatebringer hand cannon, which basically one shots most of these ads as well. Um, only one person does have it, but they don't have it upgraded either, so we're just going to do this with our normal weapons. And I hope you pretty much like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitch at LAHilton1987. Uh, Twitter is Spook. <coughs> Right, so the first part is basically defending the centre back. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to kill the adds as they come, and what we're doing is we're having one right, one middle, one left, and obviously if somebody needs help, I'm going to give a little quick shout out, and we're just going to switch over to their side when one of our sides is clear, and we're just going to give them a little hand if they do need it. Right, so first of all, we've just got to get through this part to move on to the other confluxes so the first part will be the three confluxes if you get past the first part obviously that's the hardest part done the second part literally lasts about a minute so it's a lot easier to do now what I suggest having is see you can see me have four rocket launchers I'm actually Nova as a warlock we've got two hunters with me as well the hunters are gonna be fine taking down those sides Nathan um, Stone Stealth is gonna be taking the right hand side and what we're going to have is we're going to have Toilet, he's going to be on the middle, but he's also going to be providing support for the right hand side because the middle is less crowded, so it's a lot easier to basically hold down. Right, so we got our Legion, so all we're going to do now is we're going to head to the loot cave. Almost made a mistake just by running there for a second, and you're going to see this is where I'm like, no, don't explode on me, bitches. <laughs> So we make it nice and safe into the loot cave, you can see these two. If they don't make it in the loot cave, what they end up doing is they go on to the high point as well. This is where we're going to check our sims, so we've got a sim for ready, and we do have four rockets as well. So we're going to end up taking out some of these ads bit by bit, we don't need to rush it, we don't need to waste too much ammo on this, because eventually it will go into the ritual, and we'll be able to start the confluxes at the same time. So we're just trying to make it a little bit quicker for you, rather than wait it out the complete time. So it's going to be Synergy on the left hand side. Now on the left hand side I'm going to be using that wall there, which will give me a perfect viewpoint and it will also give me a lot of cover from any Minotaurs, Hobgoblins, etc. So you're going to see me jump up right now. You don't really want to jump up this year away, you just want to make a straight jump from the loot cave. Just to point that out, because you can get sniped if some hobgoblins do spawn there. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up wasting my rockets, and then I'm going to use my normal weapons just to take them out until it gets cluttered. And um, Basically I'm not using those rockets while it's only a few adds. Now you can see on the map where the other two are placed. That one a little bit sneaky on me. Just gonna take these out one by one. Need to fire a rocket into there because there was about five of the ads at the same place. So that leaves us with two rockets and a super guys. So obviously I can only show you from my perspective, um, the other perspective is going to be from Stone Stealth. He's able to record as well, so you can check out his video. And I'm just using that fusion rifle just to take out the little ads. You see I'm hit there, so I just duck back in cover and I'm going to use another rocket this time. I'm going to fire a rocket directly to the centre just to help him out. And I'm going to use my supercharger right there. So this is where I want to use my sim. So obviously I might end up with a sacrifice here. 
which is probably going to be the mincer, but you're safe with a sacrifice, so you can do that, that's no problem. I'm just going to take out that other mincer, but unfortunately he does actually sacrifice at the same time there. Now we're going to take out these ads normally. So we've had two sacrifices, the max that you can have is four. So there's the third. And you do want to be careful as well. I'm just going to fire my rocket there. Now I know that if I have another sacrifice that's the left side down. So I basically can't let anything else sacrifice as well. You can actually let free sacrifice guys on each side, but it's not advisable and obviously only if you know you can hold it after you've left those free to sacrifice. Right, so you can see where Stealth is right in the middle there. He's going to be providing support to the right hand side. Now unfortunately, the Hobgoblin, you've got to be careful of that, he goes around the back side, so I'm going to fire my Galahorn towards the left hand side, just so the uh, little rockets end up getting him as well. And there we go, that's the first part done guys. So we still got three rockets, obviously, this is the part where you just sit down and the other two are going to make it into the loot cave, or they're going to make it on top of here with me. So I'm just going to give them a bit of support and just take out a random legion there. Generating the orbs of light now. The good thing about this is they can actually generate your orbs of light on top of here as well. So you can end up getting supercharged quite quickly. Now you see I have a three minute cooldown. So all we're going to do now is because our cooldown's a little bit longer. We're just going to wait this part out guys. So all you need to basically do is just wait, chill out, just relax. Don't go crazy. Don't go killing everything if you've not got a simp. Because sure, I've got what three rockets. Three rockets. Hmm, it's a little bit of a. I mean, obviously, it's going to take out three packs. But then the other packs, if a minute comes, you're basically screwed because you might get the minutes and the ads at the same time and get duplicate sacrifices. So unfortunately this does last a little bit longer just because of us having to do this. It was bad timing on the sim to be honest with you. I should have wasted my rockets sim first while in the loot cave. That way my sim would have been ready and waiting. That is what I personally recommend. As soon as you get in the loot cave that's when you want to sim. Get rid of whatever rockets you've got, sim, and then obviously your cooldown timer will be a lot easier. And you can see the ads are basically just shooting at us and we're just sitting on here having a chill out. Like I said guys, we wanted to challenge ourselves so we're just going to wait for that cooldown to go down as much as possible. Um, as soon as we get to a minute it'll basically be fine for us because by that minute comes we've used three of our rockets and possibly a super at the same time. But then we'll be able to synth again as well. So we're going to have in effect 7, 8, 9, 10 rockets as well as our regular ammo. I'm just going to keep checking that timer on the cooldown as well, as you can see. Now obviously you can you can actually fast forward this if you wish to do so, but it's just to show you exactly how we do it and what sort of tactic that we're using at the same time, just to give you a little bit of help. So for example, in your raid, what you might find is that three of your people have died and you've only got three left up. So if you use this tactic and say you're on the second part, you're going to find this a piece of piss really for yourself. Right, so what I'm going to start with is I'm just going to sh start shooting some of these bat ones. I know the ones in the middle are going to spawn in a moment, but they don't spawn for a little bit, so that allows me a little bit of time just to take a few of them out. out. Now you can see they start spawning there, so I'm just going to get eyes back onto my conflux now, and we're just going to keep it held down. Unfortunately, I was getting hit by a wannabe goblin minotaur. Just be careful of that. What you can find on the middle when you're sat up here, guys, is if a hobgoblin does spawn over there, you'll end up getting sniped. 
You can see when they're packed up like that, that's when you want to be using your rocket launchers. Galahorn, fully upgraded, is the best rocket launcher by far. If you've not got a Galahorn, obviously you can use what? The Truth, anything like that, for example, or anything that you know is going to be able to take big packs out. Now I am actually in Nova Bomb for this as well. I'm just going to make sure they don't sacrifice that. Nathan looks like he needs a rocket over there, so we're going to help him out with a little rocket. I'm going to take this ad out here. Nathan is stone stealth, by the way. Toilet is Alex. We're going to use our supercharger, and now we're going to end up with that using our synth. Now that we've got our synth, we've got a full fresh set of seven rockets, and here comes the Minotaur. So we're just going to plant one straight into the Minotaur. We are hit down a little bit, so we're going to get into cover. You can see that hobgoblin down there. So we're going to fire a rocket straight down. And there we go. We're back into legions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get one person into the loot cave. Just in case anything goes wrong, in case them two go down, for example. That way we know we're going to complete it no matter what. So there you go. You can see Tarlet has died. Stealth is about to make a man on a mission type uh, run so what he's going to do is he's going to try and get into this loot cave as much as he can you can see him there jumping as a hunter and I think he's actually done it crazy bastard <laughs> and he's made it yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to waste my rockets now and I'm just going to make this time go down I'm not poking my head out too much because there's a lot of hobgoblins there now that I know the hobgoblins are out, what I can do is I can jump out, use the rest of my rockets, should get it done nice and quick. Use my supercharger right there, and use my last rocket, and then switch to my primary ammo. You can see I've actually been hit down quite a bit there, but Nathan's come out as well. Now, obviously, if you don't feel safe doing this, then just leave one person in the loot cave as well. That will make sure that you're nice and safe. And obviously for the oracles, what we're going to do is we're going to wipe because that's going to be the end of the video. Our target for today was basically doing the confluxes. So we just got two rockets back. Do -do 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 -do. Doesn't really make a difference at the moment. So that's basically how to solo it, guys. Uh, not solo it. <laughs> Free man the confluxes on Vault of Glass Hard. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and just let me know what you think of the tactics and everything like that. Hopefully this will help your teams out if you are, say, struggling with the confluxes and say you just have those random free people that have died every time and at least this way you know how you can do it in order to survive. And there we go, we're just going to randomly shoot this oracle we don't end up taking it down anyway but we killed the first oracle so we're safe and there we go and we're just gonna wipe it right for now guys peace out